Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Making a Simple Game in Unity. Today we're going to look at a couple of scene things. We'll work out that real quick. So, to do that, to add this scene, all you got to do is file, build settings. Obviously, save the scene first if you haven't done that. I made a thing called scenes and just saved it as level. I uh, probably should have saved it as game because that's the game scene. But all you click is add open scenes. So now when we build this, this will be the first scene. Boom. Very, very simple stuff, right? So now what we want to do is go ahead and make another scene. So go ahead and create uh, a scene, scene, and we'll call this scene game over because this is going to be the scene that happens when it's GG, right? When we, uh, when we get the wrong square. So go ahead and just quickly add that to the build settings. So now when we go play and we get the wrong one, as you'll see, which will be the first one, ready? Boom. Game over. Error. So yeah, really, really simple. That's basically a simple thing. So now when we add the game over score and menu and all that shit, we've got a game over thing. So do you want to do scoring? We'll do scoring today. Okay. So what I want to go do is quickly go to our canvas, go ahead and create a UI of text. Here, we'll call it score. In this text, you don't need shit all, but we'll go ahead and call it score anyway. We'll go ahead and write score anyway. So as you can see, it's right there. It's very, very pale. So I'm just going to quickly get up my folder because I have used the same text in every single one of my games so far. So we'll go ahead and get that text. It doesn't really matter if you use that text or not, but we're using it today. So I've set the font size to 60, and you can probably say, where is the score gone? Well... That's because we need to make it a little bigger. So you go and score and click F, so it takes us to that. Click this little button up here and make it nice and big. And move that shit up in the corner, right? There. Um, now this may look different depending on your phone and <coughs> game and stuff like that, pardon me. So just go ahead and click that and make sure it's uh, right. So that doesn't really matter what you can change that. You can change that to your whatever you want um, because doesn't really matter, so we'll just go on, yeah, score for now. Uh, and we'll go ahead and create a scoring script. So, oh, what have I done? So go ahead and create a C-sharp script and call it score. This is very simple. Very, very simple stuff, okay? We're not going to do high scoring just yet. We're just going to do scoring. So let's go ahead and add the... Oh, my dog's off. I think my dad is home. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick, guys, because shit's going to hit the fan. Whoa. What a, whoa, 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 okay, the, the mic went really weird, uh, the computer went really weird. Anyway, what were we recording again? Oh yeah, making some text. Uh, not text, some uh, high scores, whatever. Uh, scoring, not high score. We'll do high score in a different video. Anyway, we go ahead and add the uh, library UI, so UniEngine.UI. So now we can work with stuff that's from the UI. For example, we'll go ahead and make a public text. So this is, um, if we've got text, for example, that score text, this is what we'll do. So for... Just call it score. Doesn't really matter what you call it. So when we go down to the Unity thing, you can drag in that text. And now, this text is the score text. So whatever we change, if we make it say poopy, that will make that say poopy. One second, let's just move this. Less noise. Anyway, we want to go ahead and... What am I doing again? To be honest, that's actually all you really need to do. Uh, void start. You want to do it on void update? I'm just going to go frame. Nah. So you just want to go... Um, Oh, that's what we got to do. Derp. Public, public static int. So this is making a integer called score that we can. We we'll probably should call this uh, score. We'll call this one score text. Score text. So that's score. So now we can access score anywhere. So over at rotate, no peoples. When they um this needs to go. So when they other dot game object dot tag equals red. If it's correct, we want to go ahead and go. Uh, score, because that's this file, score, dot score, because that's what the score is called, uh, plus, plus equals one. So, score equals, uh, plus equals one. So, every time we get, blah, 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 score equals one. Um, and here, we want to go ahead and go, to score text, dot text, because it's text, equals, uh, score, boom, do a space plus um, score. So that's just going to be like, okay, so score text equals score plus score. So now, whether it works, should actually work. I don't see why it shouldn't. But things like to not work in these uh, in the old things. There's always some sort of things. I can never do anything like right the first time. But let's go ahead and see if it's uh, right the first time. Boom. So score equals zero. 
Uh, we probably should uh, go ahead and remove it so it's not. Hmm. We'll try and catch him. We'll try and do it properly. Oh, I can't even see it. It's so far away. Eh. Okay. Well, we didn't get any. Oh, they were all green then. That was pretty lucky. But as you saw, none of them even went up. Why? I don't know. Let's have a look. Probably because. What is this cool? That might. Hmm. Wonder why. Let's have a look. I think what we'll probably do is get uh, the text and chuck it over in this one instead. And so now we can go ahead and do uh, score text because you not you need to update it kind of like quick score text. Why is that? Oh, it's because I haven't added the uh, the using Unity engine uh, using Unity engine dot UI. That's why it didn't work. So now we can do the public text score text. So down here you want to go score text dot text equals the whole score thing um, plus score dot score so that should update it every time it adds a score I do have some issues with the whole score equals plant plus one thing so we might have to change that as well um, let's go ahead and go quite close to the we'll just go ahead and scroll in hopefully we get a bunch of greens or whatever let's have a little all reds doesn't really matter okay so we've got a green so now that should it's really hard to do when <laughs> when it like changes right so let's have a look. We'll try and pause it, see if it actually does it. See, hmm. issues, issues, issues everywhere, right? Let's pause it and quickly fix this. Alrighty, we fixed it. So just go ahead and add uh, the text to this one. I forgot to add the text to the thingy. So each one has to have score text. Go to here, and instead of putting the score text dot text stuff here, put it down here above int rando and make it score dot score equals score dot score plus one rather than score dot score plus equals one. Um, and then yeah. So that's that's that basically works. So now if we go ahead and play it, we we'll go ahead and pause it because we've got we've got two reds here. So we want to just push these reds back. So that when you do it in play, it doesn't actually affect it. It like it will change it during play. But when you go out of play, it will make it go back to normal. So just to show you that um, when the greens do hit, bang bang, score equals two now. So when these two hit, it will go bang bang, score equals four. And now when this one goes, it's gonna be like game over, boom. So yeah, we've got it working with the score. So that's always a good thing. So now uh, we need to. We need to make it so we can, hmm, what's the simple way we can do this? I think right now this actually could work when we just go ahead, we need to zoom out the camera because we need to be able to see it a bit more. So we need to zoom the camera out, I think, about like that. Make these uh, peoples a bit like in a bit of a distance away from each other. So we can actually flip it over without having to, so... The last guy can go all the way up the, up there. So basically now we can actually like rotate it quickly. So okay, oh shit. Well we don't know obviously that's gonna be red, so red, 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 green. Okay, well that's still too quick. Oh I think we actually got it. No we didn't. <laughs> so it's uh it's quite difficult because the velocity changes when being at different heights. So that's an issue. And uh, most likely when their velocity changes, like so uh yeah, it's <laughs> we're gonna have to figure something out to do. We can actually probably just remove like two of these actually um, and make like this guy over there about that so like the velocity will change let's just give this a go so it's gonna be green and then red so green red boom okay red 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 okay so we can give it a go oh we got game over anyway why I don't uh, I don't know realistically why that game a game over then hmm what's happening is it giving me a game over even when red hits red or is red not got what? <laughs> Does red not have... What the fuck is that happening? Green, red. Why are you giving me game over when I hit the right one? Uh, if other.gameobject.tag equals red... Ah. Oh, I probably need to do else if. It's probably the only reason why. I think that might be why. Let's give that a go. Give that a go, shall we? That might be the reason why we're getting errors. Or we're getting game over when we shouldn't have beginning game over. Okay, so rotate, so red, hmm, all right, so red decides to give us game over, so if other.gameobject.tag equals green, if that equals green, and this equals green spawn, else if it equals to red, uh, don't know why it's giving me game over. Uh, I don't know what the 
Delio is. Why it's go? Try and fix this, guys. Alrighty, we fixed it. Uh, what I did is instead I check first. I just changed this real quick to I check if the game object equals to red. So if what I'm colliding with equals to red first, and if it does, I check then if my player is equal to red, and then if it is, then I do the spawn thing else game over and then the same thing if the game object I'm colliding with is green and then I check if my player is green then I do the spawn else game over so you just want to change it to that real quick go ahead and pause if you need to but uh, yeah that's what it does so now if we go ahead and play we're gonna need to add it so like the further you get it into the quicker it is or whatever and velocity doesn't really change and whatnot but now it should be working fine so using obviously you can't see that when you're playing um, but I'm going to need to add something to make it a little bit harder. So, boom, red like that, boom, green. That guy's spinning. That's pretty cool. Don't know why he's spinning. Oh, red. So, yeah, this is kind of the idea of the game. Obviously, I'm going to add some changes and stuff. Uh, maybe I actually make it, I might make it vertical. If I'm, I probably will release it on Android. It's probably already released when I'm making the series because I'm going to make it all on one. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to release it for Android and it'll probably be vertical so you can actually see it all a lot quicker. But, obviously, if I get the wrong one, it's going to give me game over. So, I'll go ahead and get the wrong one here. Boom, game over. So cool. So that's working. Got the score working and all that. So yeah, I think it's uh, going pretty good so far, guys. Um, next episode, we'll probably we'll do a menu, work on some high scoring, uh, high score system, and then we we're basically already done. We're nearly done the game. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. How far to go? Everybody got the reason. Everybody got the way. We're just catching and releasing. What builds up?